Welcome to Survival Theory. It's been about four weeks since the EMP. This place is like a ghost town now. I'm out scavenging for materials. I'm looking for a compass. I lost my compass. Um, and of course, I can't find a compass anywhere. I haven't found any food. But here's a vehicle that's been sitting here a while. We've got a busted up TV here. Now, most of the vehicles that were still operating have been confiscated by the feds. So I'm willing to bet that this battery is still good. I'm going to get some wire from this TV set and make my own compass until I can find a replacement. So let's get busy on that. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is get my multi-tool some of this wire. Is that copper? All right, now I've got my wire to make the compass. Now, I scavenged the sewing kit together from a couple different houses. I'm gonna get one of these needles and turn it into a magnet. Like a small cell cloth needle. That'll work great. So what I'm going to do is start wrapping this as tight as I can around here. Make a coil around that needle. Can you see that? So I'm just going to keep going. I don't want any of the metal to actually touch the needle. So I'm going to keep that insulated part out. I've got a little bit more to wrap here. So now I will, is that long enough for a car battery? If not, I can lengthen the wire. But now you can see how I've got it wrapped up. Got this end cut, now I'll expose the wire on this end. There we go. So the needle is wrapped in the wire. It's insulated wire, and that's very important that it's insulated. Now let's see if that battery has any juice. Right now I want the sharp end of my needle pointing north. So I'm going to put the sharp end on the negative terminal and just rake this other end over the positive. Just rake it real quick. So I can get this where you can see it. quick spark. I'll do that a couple more times. There we go. So now I've rearranged the electrons and this pointy end, oh, this pointy end of the needle should point north. All right, so I got out of that open area. Got a puddle here we can test this needle with. Now I'm going to remove this from the wire. I don't want to unwind the wire because I plan on going back and doing this to another needle so that I'll have more than one compass. And I'll be able to just slide another needle inside there, touch it, and uh, be done. 
So, let's test out the needle. All right, so I'm gonna call that a success. Now I've got a compass and wired to make another one as a backup to my backup. Uh, until I find a compass, this is gonna be my only one, this needle. So, I guess it's time to get back to scavenging. Who knows, maybe I'll find a compass and just keep this as a backup, right? Should have had a backup, but I didn't. Two is one, one is none. Today that was proven. Well, thanks for watching Survival Theory. Please share, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Finding any food. And it couldn't be any MP. There goes a car.